All right, the next one in the Dirty Dozen is graphs. We're going to talk specifically about which ones you can do in the calculator, or you could do it on paper if you're smart, but, you know, whatever. Um, the first one we're going to look at is number 33 on the practice test. Which graph best represents this equation? Now, there's two ways to go about this. Mathematically, you could cover up one and do 5x equals 12, and then cover up over here and do negative 3y equals 12, and then just solve two. All I did here, by the way, is eliminate this y, and then do the x part, and where I eliminated the x and did the y part. This would be 2.4, I think. And if I divide by negative 3, uh, 12 divided by negative 3 is negative 4. So on my y axis, I need to go up down to negative 4. So my y is right here. They even mark them for you. How nice. So here's a negative 4, and so is this. So these two are the only ones. These two don't cross at negative 4. They cross positive 4. Um, and then I just look for positive 2.4 to cross. So it's got to be this one. Now, if you are a calculator nut, you will see that x and y are on the same side. x and y, same side of the equal sign. So the first thing you do after you hit your y equals button is hit the parentheses. Then you type in the thing that's by itself, so 12. Then I'm going to move this x over. So what used to be 5x is now minus 5x. If you forgot why we do that, it's because y has to be by itself. And right now, I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides just to get rid of this one to get y by itself. Now, um, after I do that, I can close the parentheses, and then I divide by whatever is in front of the y. So in this case, it's negative 3, so I'm going to divide by negative 3. This is an equal sign, so you don't have to worry about shading or any of that weirdness. So here's my graph. It's going up, up, up. This is the only one that matches it. It's right there. Perfect. So the answer is A. The other type, 31. thought it was 1 back. I guess not. x minus y is less than 0. 3y minus 6x is greater than 0. Before you do anything else, go ahead and look at the y values. It will make your life much easier. They will tell you right now, in this point, if you have x and y on the same side, that whether you're going to flip them or not. This one has a negative y, which means this is going to flip over. So go ahead and mark it out, and then do your greater than. For this one, y is positive, so you do not have to flip it. It's going to be perfectly like this. You will also notice that if you graph this one first, it's going to have a dotted line. This one, on the other hand, is going to have a solid line because it's got the line underneath. Now, to put them in, for the first one, you're going to do parentheses uh, 0 because it's the only thing on this side. Then I would do minus x, and I'm going to close that out, and then I'm going to divide by negative 1 because that's what would be in front of the y if it wasn't there. You might want to go ahead and put it in. The other one, 3y minus 6x, I'm going to go down. Oh, I forgot to shade for this one. Like we said, it flipped over, so I'm just going to flip this to the right just a little bit, make that pretty little graph there, and it's going to come up great. The other one, uh, so I do parentheses, I do 0 again, and then I do plus 6x, because I'm getting rid of 6x right there, and then I close it, and I divide by positive 3, because that's what's in front of y, Then I go back over here, and uh, I'm going to Set it like this, just like it was before, because it doesn't flip, because y is positive. Graph them both. Watch the first one as it comes out. That would be the dotted line. And then there is the solid line. So the answer is right up in that top corner. But see, they're both there. There's the top corner, and so is that one. But I remembered that the first one to come out when I graphed was this one. That was the first one to come out. So that is the one that is the dotted line. So I look for the one that has the dotted line that's the widest. There's that Y dotted line. That's your answer right there. So be careful. If you're going to solve it the other way, it's even easier. Just go back to the original problem, solve this one. So X is already equal to 0. And negative y is less than 0, divided by negative 1. So because I'm dividing by negative, I have to flip this over. Uh, 
oh, wait a minute, well, see, if you got too used to solving it on paper, you can't do that intercepts method thing with this one because they both have zeros. So the other way to do it is basically the long way of doing the problem from before, which is that you have to get y by itself. So to get y by itself, I need to subtract x. Divide by negative 1. y is greater than x. That'd be the first one. You do the second one the same way. Um, and then just graph them out, and it gives you the correct answer. But if they have zeros, the intercepts method doesn't work, so you're going to have to go with something else, which is totally fine. But most of you are pretty good at doing the calculator. If you have any questions about this method, just let me know. And in order for you to try one for yourself, I am going to give you number 41 out of the other book. Here it is right there. You have y plus 2x is greater than or equal to negative 3 y minus x is less than or equal to 4, and x is less than 4. Uh-oh. This says x is less than 4. Remember, if there's no y, you can't graph it in the calculator. So you're going to have to think in your head, what does this look like? Well, on an x, on the xy axis, which is right here, a very badly drawn one, I should, should add. Um, let's straighten that out just a little bit. Now I'm going to go up to 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and I'm going to make a dotted line because x is less than 4 instead of less than equal to, and it's going to shade less than x, so 3 is less than x, so it shades this way. So your answer should always be this direction of the line. All you do is keep that in your head and then graph these two at the top, and you should be fine. So I'm going to leave those two there for you, and you've got two minutes to figure it out. Go.